Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the economical impacts of disaster. When we come to the economical impact, the property damage caused by disaster impact creates losses in asset values that can be measured by the cost of repair or replacement. Disaster losses are initially borne by affected household business and local government agencies whose property is damaged or destroyed however some of these losses are redistributed during the disaster recovery process there have been many attempt to estimate the magnitude of direct loss from individual disaster and the annual average loss from particular type of hazards unfortunately these losses are difficult to determine precisely because there is no organization that track all the relevant data and some data are not recorded at all. For insured property, the insurers record the amount of deductible and reimbursed loss but uninsured losses are not recorded so they must be estimated often with questionable accuracy. The ultimate economical impact of a disaster depends upon the disposition of the damaged assets. Some of these assets are not replaced so their loss can cause a reduction in consumption or a reduction in investment and thus a decrease in the economical productivity. Other assets are replaced either through in-kind donations or commercial purchases. In the later case, the cost of replacement must come from some source of recovery funding which generally can be characterized as either intertemporal transfers or interpersonal transfers. Some of these specific mechanisms for financing recovery includes obtaining tax deduction or deferrals, unemployment benefits, loan, grant, insurance payoff or additional employment. Other sources include depleting cash financial assets, selling tangible assets or migrating to an area with available housing, employment or less risk factors. In addition to direct economical losses, there are indirect losses that arise from the interdependence of community subunits. Research on the economical impact of disaster suggests the relationship among the social unit within the community can be described as a state of dynamic equilibrium involving a steady flow of resources, especially money. Specifically, a household's linkage with the community can be defined by the money it must pay for products, services and infrastructure support. This money is obtained from the wages that employers pay for households labor. Similarly, the linkages that a business has with the community are defined by the money it provides to the employees, suppliers and infrastructure in exchange for input such as labor, material, services, electric power, fuel, water, wastewater, telecommunication and transportation. Conversely, it provides products or services to customers in exchange for the money it uses to pay for its inputs. It also is important to recognize the financial impact of recovery on local government. Cost must be incurred for tasks such as damage assessment, emergency demolition, debris removal, infrastructure restoration and replanning striken areas. In addition to these costs, there are decreased revenue due to the loss or deferral of sale tax, business tax, property tax, personal tax and personal income tax and as well as user fees. So these are the major economical impacts caused by different disasters. So in this lecture, we had discussed the economical impacts of disaster. So dear student, the assignment question for this lecture is write in detail about the economical impacts of disaster. So see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.